Hello everybody. I'm here again. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are. I'm here again to talk about the word of God. Guys, I apologize. My first video, um, I didn't introduce myself and I apologize for that. You know, I'm I would say that I'm not used to this. Um, not everybody is used to coming out in public and talking. I'm not the type, you know, I'm not the kind of the type at all. So, um, so first video was kind of uh, serious in it, you know, like I came out and I started talking, but I apologize for that. My name is Uju for those that, that don't know me. Um, I'm a mother with three children, three beautiful children that God has blessed me with. <clears throat> so um, I'm here again, like I said, to talk about the word of God. I had to do this, not that I had to, well, um, I don't know. Um, I've been wanting to come out in, on YouTube and preach about Jesus and, you know, to the people of God. You know, because it's in the Bible. Jesus wants us to go out there and talk about um, his words and bring the souls and bring in the many souls that the devil wants to destroy. So I've been wanting to do it. You know, my conscience keep telling me, you got to do it, you got to do it. You know, you got to do the work of God if you believe that God has saved you. So here I am. I did my first video yesterday and this is my second one. So I'm not I'm not gonna keep you guys that long. Um, but if you have a little time, be here with me and let's talk just a little bit about Jesus, okay, and his work so that we'll keep we will keep spreading it to the people of God for those that believe. Amen. <clears throat> Today's topic again is um, God cancel your past. Part two. Have you ever watched children playing, you know, a sketch? If they make a mess of the picture, right? All they have to do is turn it over to erase it, right? Then they can start all over again. This is how God handles the mistakes you and I have made. He wipes the, the slate clean. I will remember their sins no more. This has to be one of the most wonderful statements in the Bible that God forgets. When we admit our sins and ask God to forgive us, he cancels our past. He chooses to forget our wrongs, errors, and failures. Even if we die tonight, stood before God in heaven and asked him about a sin we committed yesterday. He would say, what sin? When you deny your sin, you deny God the joy of forgiving you. When you try to excuse your sin, God permits the consequences to become so painful that you will want to turn from it. But when you confess your sin, and he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let's read First John chapter 1 verse 9. First John chapter 1 verse 9. It says here, First John chapter 1, verse 9. But if we confess our sins to God, he will keep his promise and do what is right. He will forgive us our sins and purify us from all our wrongdoing. You know, the prodigal son broke his father's heart, squandered his inheritance, but his is a comeback story <laughs> his turn around pagan with these words when he finally came to his senses 
he said to himself, I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned, right? Let's read Luke chapter 15, verse 17. Luke chapter 15, verse 17. And here it says here, at last he came to his senses and said, all my father's hired workers have more than they can eat. And here I am about to starve. I will get up and go to my father and say, father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired workers. And what his father did for him, God will do for you. What his father did for him, God will do for you today. So my brothers and sisters, let's try everything that we can not to keep living in our past, not to keep blaming ourselves for our wrongdoing. Let's, let us all let it go and ask God for forgiveness. Our God is a merciful God. He will forgive your past as long as you believe and trust in him. He will forgive our past. Let us continue to live in our futures in righteous ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father. Father, thank you for these words. As my family and I, your people of God, continue to hear these words, Lord. Give us that grace to continue to put it in practice because we want to be among those ones, those people that will go with you the day you will come and take your people. Father, give us the grace to continue to live in your ways. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. See you guys some other time. Thank you for listening.